everybody, it's me, it's your girl, Cerise Hood. if you follow me on TikTok, the TikTok magical girl. Let's just leave that there. But if you guys haven't noticed or paid attention to the thumbnail and or the title, ooh, if y'all didn't know, the other day, like a week ago, I was informed, or if you guys didn't know, it's been 20 years since Tokyo Mew Mew has graced us with its presence, manga-wise and anime-wise. And if you're me that didn't read the manga back in 2000 and 2003 when it first aired, actually when it first launched, then sad for us. We didn't get, we, 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 I, I missed out on that. Um, but I did watch the series as a kid, so that was like around 2004, 2005. So, so there's that. So that kind of makes up for everything else. <clears throat> now, if y'all didn't know or can tell about the title, like I said before, this is like a Tokyo Mew Mew related like content. But then again, it's been 20 years since the series has started its <laughs> journey. And to say to the creators, well, to the creator of the series, to the voice actors, both in Japanese and in English, they did their jobs as voice actors for the subtitles and the dub. We as Tickle, as the Tokyo Mimu fans and the Magical Girl fans as a whole, we appreciate you guys for putting in a lot of work and making the series what it was and becoming like a fan fave for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> now, if you guys want to know about how the manga kind of came to be, I'm going to give you guys a little Tokyo Mew Mew history and I want to explain to you guys about how I got into the series and cosplay characters, action characters that I'm planning on cosplaying for this year. So, <clears throat> if you guys did know, like I said before, the manga started in 2000 to uh, 2003 when it was originally released. And when a La Mode came around, which I'm gonna do a separate video about Ayla Mode. Um, Ayla Mode didn't come out till like 2005, I think. I don't remember per se, but if I can Google everything or Google like key points of like the series and stuff like that, I'll put it in the description box below this video. Um, but yeah, Ayla Mode has been out for a while, but like I said before, that's gonna be, you know, a separate video about Ayla Mode and also the two games that they came out with. Which, by the way, which was for the Game Boy and the PlayStation at the time. So, with that being with that is, let's get this started. So, of course, the manga series and anime series. Hey, mommy. Hey, one. Um, if you guys didn't know about the series, um, um the series basically talks about what well, the series is about five girls and these five girls have like these abilities of animals like a red lion monkey or a red lion I forgot but I'm gonna try to put like the the extinct animals that they were you know fused with in the description box below with the corresponding characters um but of course you got a cat a monkey a bird, a finless porpoise, and a gray wolf. And of course, you got these two guys that runs a base, an active base that in disguise as a cafe. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember like the guy with the long with guy with the long hair's name, um, which I might put, also put in the description box below this video. Um, I might just put kind of like everything in here, but however, um, <clears throat> these two guys started the Mew Project, um, or the, they continued the Mew Project or whatever when they got, well, when Reeve got older. And of course, the fact that he's a rich high school student, he has, you know, this good looking guy over here, 
you know, that does mostly the research with the computer, stuff like that. Um, yeah, again, I don't remember names well. <laughs> but that's kind of like the, the gist of it, but the storyline and the plot of the series is about five girls coming together, saving a planet from aliens who've been on this earth before us. So which being that, they also have to find this item or this purifier called Mew Aqua. And what people don't understand or don't know Mew Aqua was the same catalyst for the Mew Project, which was started by Ryu's dad, I'll say, like, around the time when Ryu was a kid. <clears throat> and, of course... It's like a lot to kind of explain, but however, the aliens that lived on this planet for us in the manga and in the anime series, um, especially in the sub, it was very, you know, technology based and they also fused these parasites with animals, which are called chimera, animals of chimera. Uh, uh, chimera, blah, 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 blah. chimera animals or if you watch the subtitle version is Chianima. Um <clears throat> but if you know you watch the series they're called Predacites um that's kind of that but they're technically called chimera animals so I'm going to go leaning towards the original adaptation of the series when it was subbed in English, so, ha. Um, <clears throat> and it also kind of focuses around, of course, like in, the pre like in the present time era, where, of course, like the five girls are like, in the, well, in the anime, there's like these five individual girls, like all over the streets or in certain parts of Tokyo or Japan, I believe. Um, <clears throat> Um, they are, you know, doing their own thing, and it also focuses around Ichigo's love life as well, and battling between, like, trying to be a normal girl with a love life and being in high school. Why, yo? You know, being, you know, in, or being a part of the team, or... With the fact that she does most of the work, anyway. So, that's kind of how I looked at it. But the series as a whole is, like, really good. Um, again, to, like, to the first actors. The, the good old... Well, from the English dub to the sub, like, to the voice actors who made the series a thing and made it what it was, we greatly appreciate you. Everything and the uh, animators, the creators, the voice actors, directors, like she, thank you guys for bringing this anime. Time to blow this, this, and like, this, 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 this anime to life. And it, also, if you guys did know, this has been 20 years since the series been out, and 60 for the manga creator. Um, yeah, the manga creator. Um, yeah, it's been 60 years for the manga creator as a whole. Like, she decided to team up with some people, I think some of, like, the old, like, animators and stuff like that to bring back the series. But, we're getting a new anime, which is Tokyo Mimi Anime, hence why I kind of wanted to make this video, um, abruptly, because I've been trying to get this video out and put, to, actually put together and put out for you guys, like, three days, and my phone's kind of been acting weird. So, on top of that, I might just put my cash app and stuff like that in the bottom of this video so y'all can just so happily donate however much y'all have. Um, but however, um, if you guys want me to talk about the games that Tokyo Mimi came out with and the Elamote manga while doing, like, a cute little makeup tutorial that's inspired by the characters of the series, um, just comment down below. I'll make that happen. Um, but I know this next video, um, that I'm gonna roll out, I might just do the... I might just do part two to this so you guys can understand like the characters 
because I'm going to add in two additional characters that that's a part of the main plot of the well, they're, they're part of the main plot of the series as a whole, but they don't really make their appearance and or debut until for Ringo, it's the PlayStation game that was in Japan, which we never gotten here, and Barry Shirayuki, which was from the manga adaptation for Ailip Mode Volume 1 and 2, because sadly we didn't really go on with the story, actually with the series as a whole, because it ended around season 1b but for people here well actually in japan it was season two or whatever the case may be <clears throat> so if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up like comment and subscribe and also donate to my cash app because i need a new phone so we can get some new content rolling for you guys and i will see you guys in my next video